In this video, we're going to show you how to install the clock motor and clock hands. With every clock motor we ship, you will receive a bag of hardware. This hardware is used to, clock, to mount the clock motor to your dial material. In this bag is a rubber washer, a brass washer, a hex nut, a minute hand nut, and a cap nut. You may or may not use the cap nut. It all depends if you, as an option, purchased a second hand. This is an optional purchase, and if you do, you will not need the cap nut. So the first step we do is we take the washer, the black washer, and then we're going to put that on there, and then we're going to put our get this set up here. We're going to put our movement through the mounting hole. All right. And as you can see, we selected the right movement because we have about an eighth of an inch there to put the washer, the brass washer on. This is how we secure the clock motor to the dowel material. Then I take that brass nut. I'm just going to spin it down. A word of caution here. Only hand tighten this. You don't need to take a pair of pliers to it because if you hand tighten it, it's secure enough. If you over tighten it with pliers, the movement may run slow. Now, here's our hands we have. We have the minute hand, the longer one, the hour hand, and like I said, we purchased a second hand in this case. So, first hand that goes on is the hour hand, the shorter one, and it's a press on. Lay it on there and press down, and then it's secure. Then you take the minute hand, and you'll notice right here that the minute hand is oblong shaped. And the shaft, it's an American eye shaft, so you'll put that oblong right on that shaft. Now, if I did not purchase a second hand, I could just put this cap the cap right on top of that, it would look super. However, since I got a second hand, I'm going to put my minute hand nut, hence the name, minute hand nut. Now take your time on this. You got to kind of get it really level. So slow in the beginning so you can get threaded correctly. And then just tighten it down. And there you have the hour hand and the minute hand. Then I take my second hand and I put it on the inner shaft, which is the second hand shaft. I get it set straight and I just push down on it. There. The only thing I have to do now, didn't need the cap, the only thing I have to do now is set it to the right time. Okay, so I'm going to set it to our time here. There we go. And then all I have to do is put a double A battery in it and it will tell accurate time for a long time in the future.